Hi, I'm Jason Mears and this is Google Cloud VMware Engine 107 GCP Regions and Zones. So GCP divides the world up into regions and as you can see on the map there's a dot for each region. Currently the blue dots on the map are regions that currently have three or more zones and any white regions on the map are future regions. So if you look at Sydney and Melbourne, you'll see Sydney has three zones, Melbourne is about to get three zones. And you'll also see in the box in the bottom corner, some regions have four zones. For example, Iowa currently has four zones in its region. All of those regions are connected together uh, with the Google network. It's a worldwide network that currently carries just over 40% of all the world's traffic. You'll notice on there that uh, all those dots are edge points of presence, so places there's edge computing. Um, you can also click on the button on the Google Cloud website to change that to CDN or Content Delivery Network because some are compute services and some are just delivering content images and text and video and things like that. Um, if you select the regions page from the Google Cloud uh, web page, you'll see broken down into Americas, and you can currently see all the regions currently in America. Same thing again, but for Europe, I've just moved it on the page because it wasn't obvious that I'd changed it, but you can see all the different regions there that are inside Europe. And then the same again for Asia Pac. Uh, again, all the regions that are available in the Asia Pacific uh, re uh, region. And that's for when you're deploying things into a particular reason. There's also a concept of multi-region, where a product or a service might be delivered across more than one region. So that's what Google Cloud Platform refer to as multi-region. So we have single regions, multi-regions, and then for some products, they're deployed globally. So some things, it just makes sense that you either turn it on or off, and there's not really a concept of where it's running from. So as an example, on the left-hand side, under machine learning, there's one there for text-to-speech. It doesn't really matter which data center that runs out of, um, just, that, just that you either use the service or you don't. So I'm just going to flick to Google Cloud Platform Console, and I'm going to jump into my first project, and I click on the hamburger, and then I'm going to scroll down the list, and I'm going to pick something like Compute Engine. You'll see in the list there's other things there for Kubernetes, Cloud Functions, Cloud Run, VMware Engine. Uh, I'm just going to pick Compute Engine from that list of all the things there. And then I'm going to click VM Instances. So I don't currently have any VMs running in this GCP project, so I'll create one. I'm not going to go through the whole process of creating a VM. What I want to show you is that when I do create a VM, in this case instance one, I can pick the region that this instance goes into. So for example, let's say I pick one of the regions here, South Carolina. Now that consists of three zones, as we showed before. However, if you remember when I looked at the Iowa example, if I pick Iowa as the region, there were four zones under Iowa. So this is just a jump into the console to show you how this concept of services that belong in a region, you have to pick the region and then you have to pick the zone inside that region. So that was just a very quick example of picking something by region and by zone. But essentially the takeaways from this video are, are just for you to remember that the world is divided up into regions from a GCP point of view. Regions are further divided up into zones and it's usually three zones per region. But some, as we saw in that example, are Iowa have got four. And that when you're uh, using products or services, some are provided per region, some are provided across regions, and some of the products and services are globally, things that we saw like text-to-speech. It doesn't really matter which uh, part of the GCP infrastructure that's delivered from, it's a global service.